Hello beautiful souls out there. This is Dr. Destiny. I am back to talk to you today on another topic and what I'm going to be talking about today is the different diets. Now there is probably a thousand, maybe ten thousand of different types of diets that you can choose from and uh, I'm not going to do all of that but I'm going to mention some of the diets that is that are out there and then I'm going to tell you basically about diets that you can lose weight. And now I know there's a lot of people out there that are looking to lose weight. I mean, I'm not saying you gotta be fat or overweight, but you wanna make sure that your body is maintained at a healthy place and that your weight is even, okay? So you might wanna consider, I'm gonna mention, I think I got um, maybe five or six diets. I mean, no, I have nine nine weight loss diets that you can choose from. I'm going to mention those in this video. So let me get started, my beautiful souls. My name is Dr. Destiny. I am your holistic and health nutrition coach. I am soul health consultant. I teach us on all about holistic health, eating, the lifestyle of keeping a healthy mindset, which is your mind, body, and your soul. So I do a lot of teaching, empowering uh, my clients to become their best and better version of whom they are created to be and if you want to know more about dr destiny then you need to come over to my let me move for a minute then you need to come over to my youtube channel at destiny destiny forever walks phd and you can go to my about page so you can read all about me or check out some of my um videos about my uh, introductions and then you'll get to learn more also. So let me keep this quick. My beautiful souls, I'm going to tell you this. I love you with everything inside of me. Very fiber by the end. I appreciate all of you from coming to my channel, watching my videos. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your suggestions. I appreciate your help. I appreciate everything you do for me, really, because like I said, without you, it would be no Dr. Destiny out there on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But you all keep me accountable, you keep me motivated, inspired, encouraged, and you always keep me growing because every time you come with new information or asking questions, that, that pushes Dr. Destiny into a whole level of new learning and growth. So let me get to this diet because I know y'all are excited to learn about some of these things. Today, I'm going to look over because I got my notes here, okay? But my question is this. How do you rate your ideal weight loss and food health? Let me repeat that. How do you rate your ideal weight loss and food health now i'm gonna tell you there's a whole lot to talk in when it comes to talking about food we can talk about it but you gotta be about it my people you got to be eating those wholesome nutrient plant-based raw base or whatever it is that you can get your nutrients and your vitamins and your minerals from to keep your body in that most wholesome and healthy state and help to keep your body and your mind and your soul in that perfect fit that divine creator he has created for you to be so that is the topic how do you rate your idea of weight loss and your food health so i got some notes here too <laughs> so there's a lot of types of diets people let me tell you some of the diets that I have had experience with, I have um, talked with my clients about or my clients came to me asking questions about about these different diets like the uh, ketogenic, Mediterranean diet, the gluten-free diet, vegetarian diet, intermittent fasting, low carbohydrate um, diet, vegan diet, plant-based diet, the raw food diet, the South Beach diet, the zone diet, but my favorite it's the Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, which I call the Genesis 1 to 9 diet. Also, there are rainbow diets, and then we all know about the standard American diet. That's the SAD, standard American diet. That's the diet that we basically grew up on. The only one way of eating, you know, with soul food and all different kinds of things like that. So, let's get into this topic. What type of diet are you eating? Self-rated health prefers to both a single question such as, in general, would you say that your health is excellent? Would you say that your health is very good? 
Will you say that your health is good? Would you say that your health is fair? Or would you say that your health is poor? Now, you're going to have to rate that yourself. Now, how would you rate that? You have to self-rate that. And make sure you're honest with yourself, okay, when you're asking, answering that question. There are many weight loss diets, people out there. Some focus on reducing all your appetite. Hold on a minute. Get my notes right here. Okay, right here, my notes. Okay, let me say it again. There are, are so many weight loss diets out there. Some focus on reducing your appetite, while others restrict on those calories, and a lot of them restrict on carbs and fats. Since all of them claim now, they claim to be superior, they claim to be the best, it can be very hard to know which one of these diets are worth trying. Now, anytime you want to start a weight loss diet or any kind of diet or any kind of health or fitness, you need to consult with your health a practitioner or dietitian, a nutritional coach, or someone in the health professional to get you started in the right path to make sure that you're eating the right diet that your body so needs or require. So there's a whole lot of different diets out there and they all, like I said, they claim they are the best. They claim they are superior. No one or no other diet can touch where they are. But it can be very hard to know which one are worth trying because there are so many and they all come at you at the same time, right? But listen, people, the truth is that no one diet is best for everyone. Now, you better hear that again. The truth is that no one diet is best for everyone. And what works for you out there or you or you or whoever, it may not work for me or it may not work for someone else. So there are so many different types of diets, but I'll, I will share with you today. And basically, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the different, all of those different types of diets. I'm going to talk about the best diets that will help you to lose weight, the weight loss diets. So people, let's get into that. There are so many different diets, so many different types of diets, but I will share some information with you today on the nine most popular diets, the nine most popular weight loss diets. Now I'm going to give you a very quick brief overall on these nine different weight loss diets. Then it's up to you to get yourself over there, find your search engine and start searching out some information. You know, you got to start uh, taking care of some things on your own because it becomes very much more important and valuable when you put the work in for yourself because this is your precious time that you're wasting. So I don't want you wasting mine either. So I'm just going to give you a little, a little spin to get you on the right path. Okay, the first... Uh, weight loss diet, I'm going to talk about the paleo diet. And just brief information. Number one, the paleo diet. It emphasizes whole foods, but it bans grains and dairy. It's multiple health benefits. It does include weight loss. That's the paleo diet, okay? Number two is your vegan diet which exclude all animal products. They're talking about eggs, cheese, and milk, butter, and all that, and all meats, even seafoods. People all say, hey, it's not meat, they're meat. So the number two is the vegan diet, exclude all animal products. They may cause weight loss due to the lure of calorie intake while reducing your risk of several diseases. The third weight loss diet, people, will be your low carb diet and they are severely very severely limit carb intake and it pushes your body to use fats for fuel they add weight loss and they aid weight loss and are linked to many other health benefits and that's number three your low carb diet go do the research put those information out there in the search engine and you get more information on it, then come back and share with me in the comment section so y'all can read what you found, okay? Number four, the weight loss diet would be called the Duncan. The Duncan diet with D-U-K-A-N. And it has not been tested in quality 
human studies yet. The diet may cause weight loss, but it also may slow down your metabolism and make you lose muscle mass along with fat mass. And that is number four, the Duncan diet. Number five, moving on here quickly, the ultra low fat diet. This is another weight loss diet called an ultra low fat diet, which contains less than 10% of its calories from fat. It can cause significant weight loss and it may also have impressive, these impressive benefits for your heart, these like heart disease, like type 2 diabetes, and muscle cirrhosis. So that is number five, the ultra low fat diet. Number six, that's your Atkins diet. That is also a weight loss diet. The Atkins diet was very popular back some years ago. But the Atkins diet, it is a low carb weight loss diet. It's effective for weight loss, but also has benefits for many other disease risk factors. And that's number six the Atkins diet. Number seven, and number seven, something you, you definitely got to go out and search. It's called the HCG diet. The HCG diet. And this is a rapid weight loss diet. So you may want to really search on that. I'm going to try to put all this into the uh, comment section so you all can have something to go back to so you can be able to see these diets so you can do your own study and research on them, okay? But the HCG diet, like I said, it's a rapid weight loss diet and it's not based on scientific evidence and it may reduce metabolic rate. It may reduce this. It may reduce your metabolic rate and it may cause muscle loss, also may cause headaches, fatigue, and depression. That's why I'm saying every diet is not for everybody because that's why you need to make sure you're getting a checkup from your a health practitioner, doctor, whoever, so they can make sure that whatever your body designed for, it be the right diet for your body. So that was number seven, the HCG diet. Now, the next weight loss diet is number eight, people, number eight. And, and that is called the zone diet. The zone diet is a low GI diet, and studies on its weight loss benefits are inconsistent. But the diet improves many important health markers, and it risks your. I, I just said that wrong, y'all. See, see y'all gotta be watching when I'm talking. <laughs> You're not watching, you gotta be listening, pay attention. Now, I need to repeat. Uh, number eight, the zone diet. Is a low GI diet and its studies on its weight loss benefits are inconsistent people but the diet improves many important health markers and it reduces your risk of heart disease the, and the last one because I tell you I'm gonna give you nine the last one is number nine and a lot of people is doing this and they're talking about this especially go on Facebook you hear a lot about uh, different groups talking about the intermittent intermittent fasting intermittent fasting which lets your body cycle between fasting and eating that's what the intermittent diet the fasting is all about it's a diet it's for weight loss as well it is very effective like i said for weight loss and it has been linked to numbers of health benefits. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the benefits. I'm not going to go into all of the advantages or disadvantages. I'm not going into any of that, but I'm giving you some leeway. I'm giving you some uh, information that you can grab onto and go ahead and do your own study and your own research. Please, it's time out to depending on someone else. And another thing I always say, when you're doing your research, people, don't just go do one and sell it for it. I don't even suggest that you go do two or don't even do three, four, like maybe five, six, seven, eight. Just keep searching till something within you resonate and agree with that. To something inside of you will point you to what the divine higher power God is saying to you. Because your diet needs to be individualized for your purpose. And you have to agree with whatever the researchers out there are saying. And your spirit has to agree. You have to have that discernment from the higher power God himself. So, 
when you're doing those studies, don't just get lazy and I just did one, okay, whatever, whatever. No, put the work in. It's a process that we have to go through. It's a progress that we are going looking for information. We want to get the best possible information and see who's or uh, what these researchers are saying and how many are agreeing with the same factors. And then we'll listen, knowing that God is never going to mislead you or misguide you. And then we're going to take this information, sit down, and we're going to go over it and talk about it to ourselves. We're going to talk about it in the presence and the face of God, and he's going to show you this is your diet. Then you take it to your um, doctor and ask them opinions about this diet, which is best for you. So that's all the diets. Let me scroll down again. Uh, number one was the paleo diet. Number two was the vegan diet. Number three was the low carbs diet. Number four was the Duncan diet. Number five was the uh, ultra low fat diet. Number six was the Atkins diet. Number seven was the H. CG diet. Number eight was the zone diet, and number nine was the intermittent diet, fasting. That's a diet as well. Intermittent fasting. Now, on the bottom line of all this, I'm concluded. Now, I'm putting this all back on you. So, get out there and do some research. Grab some books up. Do some studies. Internet has everything out there for you these days. You don't even have to go into the library. You're so blessed. Information is out there. He said, get wisdom, get knowledge, but all you're getting, get understanding. It's crying out there for you to go out and do the research. How hungry are you to learn and to know so you can grow and become the best, better version of whom he created you to be? So the bottom line is this for you. There is no perfect weight loss diet. There is no perfect weight loss diet. Different diets, different diets, they work for different people and you should pick one that suits your lifestyle as well as your taste and my people the best diet for you is the one that you can stick to in the long term it's not just i'm trying to pay those that today and then next week you got to try to admit in the middle fasting or next two days you're trying to zone diet you jump over to the vegan back to the vegetarian diet and you just add and incorporate all these things and all these diets don't require the same things within them so one diet said no meats no or uh, every animal products or dairy products another diet saying yeah throw some meat some chicken there all that and then you're eating this and that Get consistent. Get settled in your mind because you're confusing your whole mind. Your mind don't know which way to go because you're taking it all around the river. So make sure that your diet is a diet that it is something that you know that you really want to really stick with. And you just stick with that diet and you stick with it in a long term. You keep continuing to go toward it and it will grow on you. My people, I am out of here and I'm going to talk to you, you lovely souls, at the next video. Just remember that no perfect, there is no perfect weight loss diet. Because diet, they work totally different for different people. So you should pick one, a diet that's going to suit your lifestyle as well as your taste. And the best diet for you is to want people that you can stick to for the long haul. Stay with it. Be consistent. Make it a personal lifestyle. And make it a healthy lifestyle and a healthy habit of eating wholesome, nutrient and rich foods. Now, people, get up to Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. That is my favorite diet. I call it the Genesis 1, 2, 9 diet. And this is a diet that the divine creator God of the universe has given for man. Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. It talks about the whole plants-based diet with uh, fruits and herbs and grain. I mean, it's just a diet. Just go check it out. I'm going to talk to you lovely people at the next video. Answer the question, how do you rate your ideal weight loss and food health? I'm going to see you at the next video. Beautiful souls, namaste. And have a lovely and a fantastic day out there. And you will be seeing me on the next side of health and fitness. Bye.